Everyone has to be thunderstruck about the new accounting belief around stocks like Amazon, around some of these other tech stocks as well. Is the world that you and I knew, know of conventional securities analysis, conventional stock market analysis, are we fossils and, and, and the Amazon crew knows something we don't know? I don't know if it's a, an accounting thing, but if you look at this quarter, um, these, this whole suite of large cap, I mean, these are companies that are growing at an extraordinary rate and are massive, and their margins are just levitating. There's this general belief that as you get larger, your margins have to <clears throat> slow down. Right, exactly. And they're doing the opposite. As they get bigger, they're getting more and more pricing power and becoming a bigger part of all of our we, lives. We could, we could launch into Ethernet mathematics here, but we don't have, uh, and diminishing returns, but we don't have the time for that. One of the great zeitgeists of the week in equities is this is as good as it gets. I'm going to guess John Golub doesn't believe in that. Well, I, I kind of do believe this is as good as it gets because this quarter, the okay. earnings are probably going to come in at 25% year over year. And this is not the first quarter out of recession. Yeah, but this is year nine. As as get, do we go down to a single digit earnings dynamic or do we just go back to a good old double digit uh, growth that develops double digit returns like up 12%, what? 12 months trailing S&P? Yeah, I mean, when we look out, let, let's look at this year and versus 19. 19, we're probably looking at earnings that are going to be, let's say, 6 to 7 percent, which is, Tom, that's fine. Um, yeah. But right now, we have the benefit of taxes on energy companies, the benefit of higher oil for banks, we have the benefit of, of slightly higher interest rates. The tech companies, like you said, are delivering massive results. Um, it's just good news everywhere, and it's, it's, I think this is where investors are going to struggle. The, the news will be fine in 2019. It just can't possibly <clears throat> beat what we're seeing right yeah. now.